I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and behind me is my 1986 Marcos 3-liter GT. I've had this car for a couple years. I got it at an estate sale. It did not run. This car was actually going to be one of my first Will It Run videos, but it's such a cool car that I got impatient, and I just got it running before I had started filming anything. Today, the local British car club is doing a little cruise and a little car show. So this will be the first trip for this Marcos on a trip like that. So let's get in and see what other cars show up. This is a 1986 Marcos 3 liter GT. This car has the 3 liter Ford Essex V6. This car goes down the highway very nicely. It has long legs. The speedometer says 140 miles per hour and this car could probably get there. The designers of this car were very tall people, and you can tell that these cars were designed for taller drivers. For me, the steering wheel is a bit too far away from me. The pedals are adjustable, and you can bring them forward and aft so you can get them closer to you, but that still doesn't change your seating position relative to the dashboard and the steering wheel. So reaching some of the switches and reaching the steering wheel is a stretch for some drivers like me. This 3-liter V6 never came to America. No cars were ever sold here originally with this engine, although TVR had tried to do so. This is a pretty good turnout. I think I saw about 20 cars there, including a very rare Triumph Renown limousine. Right now we're following this Chuck McGuire and his Triumph TR3. And we're being followed by a Series 2 Jaguar. So I found that my regulator has been sticking. If the RPM drops too low, regulator will get stuck in charging at 16 volts and I'll have to push the clutch in let it sit there for a while before it jumps down to 14 again. It seems if I stay in third gear and keep the revs higher it will not have this issue but when I am in fourth gear and following some of these slower cars the RPM on the alternator drops low enough that the regulator gets stuck again. This is our stop before we go to lunch. They made a nice little spot for us to park all of our cars in the backyard. Unfortunately, I heard that the renowned limousine broke down, a fan belt went out on it, and it did not make it here. The owner of this property has three Jensen Heelys inside. They also own that silver MGTD there. Got an MGB, a Triumph Herald convertible, XJ Jaguar. There's a beautiful Jaguar 120. That's probably 3,000. Got a couple MGBs. A newer Jaguar. The Triumph TR3 that I followed down here. There's my Marcos 3 liter GT. Parked next to it, a Series 2 Jaguar. Back here we've got another MGB. Jaguar XJS. Not sure if it's a 6 or a 12. And another XJS. MGB with very bright chrome wire wheels on it. Next to the MGB looks like a Morris 10. Well, we've got a great lineup of cars here. There's supposed to be more cars at our lunch stop. We're going to have a little car show there in the parking lot. So I'll check back with you when we get there. Well, we all 
have made it to the car show. It's actually a pretty good turnout here today. A few more cars have joined us since when you saw before. Done. Morris 10. MGA. So. Hey, Steve. I love these cars. This is an MGC. This has a big six cylinder, like what's used in a big Healy. TR6. Here's a TR4 that I painted and helped build for driveway cancer and for Boss Motors. That's big Heelys again. So this Renown is a completely stunning car. This is probably one of the rarest and most interesting things here today. I believe this one is a 1955 model. There's very few of these limousines left in the world. Really special treat every time you see one of these in person. Well, that was a fun little cruise and car show. Marcos has been running great aside from the problem with the regulator acting up a little bit. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.